All right, how to add and subtract like terms. When you have like terms, when somebody thinks three dogs plus five dogs take away, or sell two dogs, take away two dogs, we don't think too much about it. We say three plus five is eight dogs minus two dogs. You have six dogs. Well, what if I use variables and I said 3D plus 5D minus 2D? There's not any difference. We just use the coefficients. 3 plus 5 is 8 minus 2 is 60. All right, on this problem, we have four cats plus five dogs minus two cats. Well, here we're going to keep the cats and dogs separate. So we have four cats. You get rid of two cats. You're left with two cats. Four minus two. But the dogs does not have another like term, so we just say plus five dogs. If we looked at this with variables, we would say it's four C plus 5D minus 2C. We see that these two terms are alike because they have the same variable. So 4C minus 2C is 2C plus 5D. And this would be your final answer to simplify. Okay, let's do some more. So 10S minus 8S, 10 minus 8 is 2, and we're talking about S's. Okay, these are all G terms. 4 plus 9 is 13. 13 plus 4 is 17 G. A lot of people miss this one because they forget that there's an assumed 1 in front of the R. But just like you say, give me a dollar, you don't say give me a $1. So we simply say this is 1R plus 8R is 9R. So... 10V plus 5V is 15V plus a negative 3V is 12V. Okay, not only do the letters have to match, but the exponents also have to match to be a like term. So 7J squared minus 3J squared is 4J squared. The 4 doesn't have a term like it, so we just simply bring it down. Okay. These are all V squared terms, so 4 plus 10 plus 6 is 20 minus 10. Twenty minus ten is equal to ten. So our final answer is ten v squared. These are all like terms. They all say h to the second power. Let's use the coefficients. Three plus six is nine. Nine minus seven is two. Two plus ten is twelve. And twelve minus four would be eight h squared. Okay. Let's remember this is a 1. 1 take away 9. Some people like to do a switch switch. That's fine. 1 take away 9 is negative 8. Plus negative 3. If you want to do a switch switch here, that's fine. Uh, we see they're all negative numbers, so we can add it for one of them. So 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 plus 3 is 14. And 14 plus 8 is 22. Remember, it's negative, and it falls up with the x. Okay, not all these terms are like. We have some f terms here. Let's do those first. So 7 plus negative 10 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus negative 4 
is negative 7f. If you want to, mark them out so you're done with them. Negative 10 plus negative 5 is negative 15. So we can put plus negative 15. But I think it looks better if you say negative 7f plus a negative, same thing as minus 15. Okay, I'll start with the highest degree first, biggest exponent. I don't have another one like this one. Remember the letters not have to match and the exponents have to match. So these two terms, 9d and 2d squared, are not alike. So we bring it down. We're done with that one. Next one, this is a d term. There's not another one like it. Let's bring it down. If you notice, I'm starting my biggest exponent and I'm going down. Done with that one. Well, the rest of them are constants. Constants don't have variables. 8 plus 3 is 11 minus 2 is a positive 9, so we put down plus 9. Okay, one more. We're going to combine the like terms. We see we have F and G's. These two terms are alike because they both have a G, and that's the only two we can combine. 4G minus 3G is 1G, or we can simply put G. Thank you.